Hello all of you awesome people out there and hello Disowned Hero, you've had a break for the past few months which means you've missed a whole array of new updates and features brought into the game, most notably the Alpha and Omega clone states. Now not to worry, as you get your life in order I'm going to go through the differences between these two states and also how you can go from being a Alpha character which is the free to play freemium character to the full EVE Online experience which is the Omega Capsuleer. Since this owned hero has been away for a little while and not stayed on top of his account subscription, he is currently an alpha. This is the perfect opportunity to have a look at what these alphas can and can't do within the EVE universe and also the process and benefits of becoming Omega. So this owned hero, if you want to get all your stuff in order, we will see you in space where we go into more depth of what these can and can't do. So here he is, finally back in space again after all of his time off. Nice to see you flying around again, this owned hero. What we'll do now is we'll cover the differences between the two different accounts when it comes to items. So if you just want to open up your cargo window and have a look for an item that has a little red box around it. When you move your cursor over the center, it should display the Omega symbol just like that one. If you also want to click that upgrade button, there you go. It'll bring up a little window just detailing some of the benefits of becoming Omega. Those missiles in particular are locked out for more characters such as yourself because you cannot train into the missile skills. If you scroll down, if you have a look at those Tech 2 modules, you'll see you also need to be Omega to use them. This is because Alpha accounts cannot train past skill level 4 in all skills regardless of race, meaning you'll never be able to use Tech 2 items. So basically, Alphas are restricted to Tech 1 and Faction modules only, and also they are restricted in weapon modules depending on race. Now whilst you've got your skill queue open, let's just have a look at the quick differences in here. Now since you are an alpha account, you'll notice that a lot of these skills are actually oranged out. These will require you to become an Omega in order to train into them. Any skills you've already trained whilst you were Omega will still be there, but you'll be unable to utilise them. It's through the use of skills that most ships and items are actually locked out to alpha accounts. As you can see, you cannot train into the Mimitar, Kaldari, or Galente ships. This is also true when looking under the gunnery and all the other tabs. Since you are a Mar, you cannot train into missiles, small hybrid turrets, projectile turrets and the likes because they're not native to a Mar. The training queue is also different between the two clone states. If you look just above the one day marking, you'll see the Omega symbol. This represents a maximum time frame alphas can stack skills. This means that you cannot add skills to train for more than one day. You can train skills that take more than one day, you just cannot add another one to start once it has finished. Trying to do so like you are now will display that little warning at the top of the window. Omegas can also train skills at twice the speed compared to their alpha counterparts. So this end here, if you want to open up your ship tree, we'll have a look at the last difference and to me, the most important difference between the two alpha and omega clone states and that's the ships you can fly. Now as you can see a normal tech tree here, except for you have blockades marked by the little Omega symbol, meaning you cannot fly ships past that point. If you want to just have a quick look at the Legion, which is the strategic cruiser, it's actually a ship you own, it's a ship you can fly, but since you now are Alpha, you'll see it's locked out. So regardless of your skills and what you've flown in the past, now you're Alpha, you can't use it. You can fly anything up to cruisers, except for one exception, a battle cruiser, which we'll go into later. And also, as you can see there, the Navy issue ships as well. Now, this is where race becomes important because, as you can see, you cannot fly Kaldari, Galente, Mimitar ships. So you are locked into your Amar ships only. You can fly one ore ship, which is a mining barge, which is a little bit handy if you want to branch out a little, maybe get into a little bit of mining. But it's not the best ship for the job but it's the only one you can currently fly you also cannot use any of the pirate ships if you want to have a quick flick through them you'll see right at the beginning omega symbol we can't use them now everybody wants to be able to fly the biggest and best ship they can so for me this is going to be the main reason most people will upgrade to omega now if you want to open up your assets list this sound here and have a look for a ship called the gnosis or Genosis for some people depending on whereabouts in the world you're actually from. It's a combat battle cruiser and it's the biggest ship and only combat battle cruiser alphas can fly. 
and this is more of an event ship than a pirate ship so that's why it doesn't appear in the ship tree it's like an exploration kind of combat ship so expect to see a lot of these flying around with alphas inside nice looking ship well worth flying they usually go for at the moment about 50 to 70 million so not that expensive compared to others it's also not race specific so any alpha regardless of what race you are can use it so before you run out and become omega let's quickly bring up one of your other character skill sheets there we go this is a kaldari character of yours disowned hero and it will still be restricted in exactly the same way as your Mar character except for it will be more focused towards kaldari ships kaldari weapons and kaldari technology in general so as you can see there no small energy turrets no projectile turrets we're also going to be able to train into more ships and the likes we already know. If we have a look at the ship tree, you'll see it's exactly the same. You can go up to cruisers, except for the battle cruiser and Gnosis, which we've already talked about. They still won't be able to fly Amar, Galente, pirate ships, Minmatar, because it's all locked out under the Alpha rules. They can still fly the one ore ship, which everyone loves. So everything is basically the same except for focused around Kaldari technology, modules, ships, weapons and the likes. Docking request accepted. So you have decided to become Omega. Brilliant choice. What you need to do now is open up your character sheet and next to your portrait you will see the little alpha symbol next to your name on the left there. If you just quickly hover your mouse over that symbol there you go, you'll see all the orange bits and pieces that were missing from the alpha accounts are highlighted, just confirming what you'll have access to once you upgrade. Now you can either click the little alpha symbol or click the upgrade button in the box that appears above it to bring up this window where you have the choice to upgrade using either Plex by clicking that link there or the link above it, Upgrade to Omega, which will open up your Internet Explorer browser and I'll take you to a web page looking something similar to this one. You might also be asked to log in to EVE Online if you haven't in the past. You need to make sure it is your name in the top right or your account name. Pick which subscription you would like. Go through all the payment process, enter all your details, do all the good stuff. Come back to EVE once you are done. In my experience, I've not had to log out and back in again in order to become Omega. It's just happened. And then there you go, you now have unlocked the full EVE universe, you can use any ship you want, obviously once you've trained into it, you can train any skills, use any modules, again if you've got the skills for it, and you can now just take part in the awesomeness that is EVE Online. Hello all you awesome people and thank you so much for watching my video. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of the differences between the Alpha and the Omega accounts. If you did like this video, then please hit the like button. Always appreciate a like. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Please leave a comment. I will read it. I will get back to you. Hopefully I'll be able to improve and bring you better videos in the future. As always, stay awesome and I'll see you right here very soon in another video. Bye-bye. Jazz hands.